Hello everyone, welcome to the Upper Room. This is Pastor Sky and I have three things to share with you today. Number one, in the beginning of Acts, God's people gathered together with one accord and they devoted themselves to prayer. Prayer is acknowledging our full dependence on Christ and we need to do that every day. Number two, we believe that the Bible is God-inspired word. This is essential part of our journey with Christ and we must be meditating on it day and night and to know more of Him and to hear His voice. Number three, we value holistic approach to the formation of Christ's disciples. Whatever we receive on the Sunday morning and to the reading that we make in daily lives and also the prayer that we do in our private setting. And as we share this out with our community, we believe that we will grow together. God has amazing plans for everyone who believe in Christ and who follow Christ as a disciple. Welcome to the Upper Room. Today is June 30th, 2020, and this is the last devotion on the topic of the Holy Spirit and the works of the Holy Spirit. Today, Philippians chapter 2, 1 to 11 talks greatly about the image as described here, God who came to earth as a servant, came in human likeness, became obedient to death, even death on a cross, describing Jesus Christ and his humility. And as we read, this is Christ whom we love, Christ whom we love, desire to follow, Christ whom is everything to us. And as the Holy Spirit is the one who unites his people in the body of Christ, the church, here as Paul sends this letter to the church of Philippi, telling them to follow the model of Christ, to follow Christ, how he gave himself up for us and became nothing. And help us to see that we are simply nothing in order that we can become one in Christ. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for who you are. We thank you that you are God of unity. You put your believers to be tied around the same love, same spirit, and in one mind. Christ Jesus of humility, we praise you for your sacrifice on, of heavenly throne and came in flesh in human likeness. You are the highest one to be praised, yet you came to the lowest place. Every creature, therefore, belongs to you and should submit to your glory, and we come to you in the same manner. Lord God, I am made from the dust by your meticulous hands, and, and our lives can only be presented and preserved by your word because we are made by your words. Forgive us for not living according to your words, Rather than meditating on your words and your wonderful deeds, we boast about our achievement and accomplishment even as your church. Forgive us and help us to run the path of your commands. Oh God, Jesus, I want to declare who you are to us, just like how you made yourself to become nothing, taking the very nature of a servant made in human likeness. We declare that the same spirit of humility and obedience to our soul to be present with us, that every day we are put to death on the cross like how you did by the leading of the Holy Spirit. And this is the wonderful deeds of yours that we shall meditate and proclaim, which is also the promise that every knee shall bow down, that every tongue shall declare who you are. You are Jesus Christ, our Lord, Lord of all nations, Lord of all things, Lord. Oh God, we give all the glory and honor to you. And as we close this month of devotionals in the topic of the Holy Spirit, Father, we ask that the Holy Spirit, may you capture us, captivate us, bind us in your beautiful love that surpasses our human nature, but binds us in the love of Christ that is shown through the death on the cross. And may it be manifested in us, in our life, in a very supernatural way so that we can experience it, we can taste it, and tell the people around us that you are good. 
We thank you for everything. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.